Hello everyone, Phil Sage here. And today I want to tell you about one of our up and coming rising stars. One of our young leaders who went from zero to hero. Check it out. The young man I'm talking about is Austin Escobedo. And when I say he went from zero to hero, it wasn't that he was a nobody. He just wasn't going anywhere. He was in trouble in school. He had bad grades, bad attitude. He was fighting. And so there was just a lot of areas that we had to work on. So before I joined Cook School, I was having attitude problems in school, constantly getting in trouble, sent to the principal's office, ISS, you name it. Uh, I was constantly getting in trouble, bad grades. Parents getting called every single day. Uh, to the point where my privileges were constantly being taken away. Started in grade school, really. Um, he was always uh, being somewhat disruptive, not focusing in classroom, not doing his schoolwork. And uh, just every day, I looked forward to, well, I didn't look forward to it, but I knew it was coming. When I pulled up at the school, the teacher almost every day would walk him out to the car to discuss his day with, with me. And uh, that was, it was just constant, 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 every day. Um, the anger and the frustration and just not knowing how to balance things really started in the seventh grade. Seventh grade was far the worst year ever. He just didn't care anymore. So the discipline that we did, it didn't work. So we're like, let's go to Quantum. So we took him in there and we gathered up all his games and we brought him into Quanjanem. And Quanjanem sat down with me and said, hey, I know you can improve. I'll never forget this because he knew I could do better. And he actually told him that you won't get these back until you, your attitude changes, your grades come up, and the whole nine yards. He calls Quanjanem the wise man. So when Quanjanem would speak to him, it went through him. I mean, he actually listened every word that Quanjanem said to him. Seventh grade, when I picked him up the last day of school, he got in the car and he said, Mom, when I come back eighth grade year, they're not gonna recognize me. They're not gonna know who I am. And I was like, oh, okay. From that day forward, that boy started his workouts. He is, the way he ate, he didn't drink no sugar, he didn't take no sugar, he was, completely on his physical because he wanted to drop all his weight and he did. When he went back to eighth grade year, they didn't know him. Kuksu just started becoming this fun, amazing thing because, uh, you know, I started getting into fitness, um, reading, and my grades started going up and it was just a matter of mindset. You know, changing your mindset and, and saying, hey, I'm gonna change and this is just how it's gonna go. What Quantum has been teaching us all this time about black belt excellence, it's, uh, it's, it's harder than it seems, but you gotta put in the hard work. He did, I mean, he brought his grades up, and he stayed focused in school. He did very well after that. Quantum has something called the weekly wisdom, and one of my favorite weekly wisdoms is the habit of failing forward. You know, if you fail, it's okay. You get better, learn from your mistakes, keep moving forward. And when I started noticing uh, improvement, I just became addicted to the improvement. I wanted to get better and better. So once he decided to make the move of not being a follower, he, uh, he got serious. He started working out, eating healthy. Games were no longer. He left the games behind. As it, to this day, he's left the games behind. And all he does is read, read, work out, eat right, go to bed on time, wake up early. Martial arts, cooks a one, has taught him everything. It, it lifted him up. He had a remarkable turnaround um, he was A-B on a row the whole ninth grade year. Um, he, he was saved, he was, got baptized. 
One of the greatest influences and things that have changed me is my faith in being a believer in Jesus, and it, it has really helped me in so many ways. Um, it's changed my heart. And then when he became staff, that was just like a highlight for us. It was. Oh my gosh, was. that was a highlight for us. Um, he worked so hard to get where he's at today. One day, Kwanjin came up to me and asked me if I would like to be a part of the leadership team. And I'll never forget when this day happened because I was just ecstatic. I was like, this is happening. After watching all of the leadership team doing demos, I was excited. He told me that it wasn't going to be easy, that I would have to put in the work, the studying, and keep up good grades. On the leadership team, I learned about the law of process, how we don't get better in a day, but we get better daily. They taught me how to teach classes, how to work with other people, um, how to lead by example, and it, it was just an amazing thing. And so he is growing. He is growing with Kutsul. He is growing with everything. I mean, this boy went from A to Z, and we couldn't be more proud of him than what we are right now. All right, team. We're going to go out there and have a great demo. Let's go out there and have fun. On three, teamwork. One, two, three, teamwork! I've watched so many young leaders develop in the dojang over the years. And, you know, it's really inspiring and it's exciting to see it happen. Um, these young folks come into the school, some of them with attitudes or problems. Uh, some of them are just fine, but they, they lack the confidence. And to see them grow and develop, it's just amazing. So mom and dad don't give up on your kid. Um, my mom and dad didn't give up on me. They put me in martial arts for a reason. And martial arts can have a humongous impact. If you find that good leader, it is life changing. And Kuksul has that. Uh, it has that tight family bond. It has amazing staff members, amazing leaders, and um, it's just an amazing thing. Um, the friendships, it just, it, it's life changing. Hey kids, if you're having problems, you can do it. You can do anything. With a little hard work and a positive attitude, you can get through anything. Quitters never win, winners never quit. Always have faith, get over those walls, and keep training. Get after it. Every day is a new day new possibilities. You guys can do it. Love you guys. Keep strong.